Today we're going to talk about health funds. Firstly, let's take on the good points. They can save you hundreds of dollars every year by getting rebates back for various work that is done. You need to realise that whatever fund you're in will also determine how much rebate will come back. These dental funds operate generally on a calendar year rather than a taxation year. Some, however, do work on a, on a taxation year and you need to know this. Once you know this, you can work out the best way to manipulate the funds to maximise your rebates. So make sure that if you do need to have work done, that you try and maximise the amount of fund rebates that you can get back from the fund by structuring your work to fit in to maximise those rebates. You've got to also realise that the funds aren't necessarily your friends and they will structure things to do what's best for them. And many of the funds can be quite immoral in what they do. For instance, funds like Bupa, for instance, will give you a high rebate if you go along to their clinics. Now this, to me, doesn't seem right, and it's very discriminatory. They also want to pay out as little as possible, and often will have higher rebates encouraging you to do work that won't last as long because of the different types of materials that are used to do these processes. This means that you're going to be needing more dentistry down the road. Also, funds are often mixed up in a package called ancillary, so you may be getting other things that you don't need, like physio, chiro, optical and dental. There is a fund in Australia called Miljura Dental, and that does dental only and separates the others out in a separate package. So you may want to check that out. Also, some companies will help you find which funds you can go to, like iSelect or Aussie Cover. Also be aware that these, these companies are getting kickbacks from the funds and they don't have the full selection of all the funds in Australia. So they're not actually doing you a favour in many respects and are operating in their own best interests. And finally, if you've got all your work done or you have good teeth, you may find that being in a fund is not viable. So bear all this in mind and do what's best for you and make sure you look around in this very complex industry 